Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard. And I'm Tim Welsh. And again, this is our little trial format of breaking up our show into several different videos. Again, go to our website, vote, let us know whether you like to get lots of little videos or whether you prefer to get one big video. Do so, all right? Okay, and I'm going to show you today um, about making sure your files are cross-platform, cross-program now, and also... Um, how to a blank glass. <laughs> <laughs> and also how to make um, maybe PDF, maybe you need a PDF file, and... So I'm going to show you the pros and the cons and how to do that. Right now I have Microsoft Word 2007 and this is considered the bane of most people's existence right now because the docx file, that's how it default, defaultly saves when you install it. A lot of people are creating problems for other people because they save it by the default, the .docx, and they send it to someone and then they can't open it because they have the older version of Microsoft Word which can't open the new version. I upgraded you then I'm sending you a new file format that you can't read. The Word options. Okay. I was trying to zoom in and make it easier. <laughs> and if you go down to the save preferences here, so we're on save, and save file, save files in this format, Word document .docx. Now this is what's causing problems because this is not backwards compatible. So if you know instantly that you're working with people who haven't upgraded yet mm -hmm. or have chosen not to upgrade, like myself. <laughs> you can change that default. So we can change that default to Word 97 yeah. 2003. We can change it to save as a template. Um, you can even change it to save Word Perfect. Word, Word Perfect. Hmm. So there, there still a .doc, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are many different options here. This would also be where you save your auto recovery, but. Now keep in mind, if you do this, it's going to run in sort of a compatibility mode, mm -hmm. and what's going to happen is you may lose some formatting that you, some advantages you get with Office 2007 aren't going to be there mm -hmm. when you save it as the 2003 version. Now, Charts and things may be different. And now I'm showing you this in Word, but the process is the same for when you go into your Excel or your PowerPoint. Um, you just have to go into the, instead of Word options, it's PowerPoint options. Yeah. So this is across, um, across the suite. And also, um, now that's the way to set it up as default to save as certain things. Now let's say you... Um, I want to keep them 2007 versions, right. but I know I'm going to send this file as an attachment, so I'd better first save it in a different format than I know they can read. So under your home button, go into the file save as. Don't hit the automatic save button. Go to right. that file menu. Save as. Remember, save as is a lot different than save. And then switch it to the 97 2003 document. Once again, this is cross-platform. Mm -hmm. Now if they don't even have Word, but I wanted to be able to read it. And I don't want them to be able to edit it at all. A PDF might be a better PDF way to go. Be held. And this is where 2007 shines above yeah. its, its former counterparts. You had to download a program to save as a PDF before. Right, and now it's instantly integrated. If you're using mm -hmm. Word 2003 and you would like to do that, um, go to the Microsoft website. They'll have a link yeah. and a download and an add-on for your Microsoft Word. And yeah. it's also in Word 2004. Um, it's under, when you go to File Print, um, after you hit print, instead of actually hitting print to send it to the printer, do save as PDF. Um, that's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. uh, those directions right there should be able to take you through that. There's also the uh, save, one other save option at the bottom, talking about other yes. options. And in the other options, one of the things that you've got is an option that's RTF, rich text format. Mm -hmm. And that's just a basic kind of text one, but it does keep bolds and in, some indentations. And that's the most universal format that you can do. But you will lose colors, most likely. You might. And so if you're using like Microsoft Works mm -hmm. at, at home, you know, you got it free with your computer and you're trying to save it in a format, see if you can save it into another format as, you know, either that, that Word can open, either .doc or RTF mm -hmm. or that may be RTF may be your only choice for certain older, <laughs> older word processors that'll be universal. Apple works, you can't save as Apple works on anything anymore. So yeah. rich text is the only way you can go for that. Yeah. Now, okay, I showed you how to do this in um, Word 2007. Now I'm going to pull out here and um, I'm going to actually quit parallels here and I'm going to switch over to my Mac side and I'm going to show you NeoOffice. Um, D. Lee did an excellent review of NeoOffice, and I'm going to show you more about the saving and the save as is NeoOffice. D. Lee shows you how to customize this. Um, I'm going to show you how to export this. And so NeoOffice has its own, um, it's under the file, save as, or just file, you can do export as a PDF. That, so this is a NeoOffice, how you would export as a PDF. PDF, that opens in like the Adobe Accurate Reader or, or something like that. Right. Yeah. Very universal. All the it's, formatting is still there. It's very good. It's for like a forms. picture of the yeah. document. It's very good for forms. If you're sending out an application that people need to write in, you don't want them to mess around with the formatting. Um, they don't even have to have that font. So if you have some weird Star Trek font that wouldn't be on everybody's system, right. Word won't show that font on another system. But if you save it as a PDF, the Star Trek font will show. 
Right. I'm you're always bringing up my Trekkie stuff. Yeah, you're always. <laughs> so if you go to file and we do save as, it's the same in the other word programs. The file save as. The mm -hmm. thing is, new office and open office. If you're running the open office equivalent, you, it will default as an op open document text, which is the open office mm -hmm. format. But you can also s change it to the 97, and then also. Um, a 2007 document, so you know you're working with somebody who has the docx files, so they can use it too. So, new office is really a bridge between old and new. If you can get your right. compatibility, you can get your op. So you'll find this save as in almost any program that you have on a computer. There'll be an option to save as. It'll give you different formats. You don't have to necessarily go with that default. One last thing I do want to point out is on here you, may, you will see an option to save it as an HTML document or as a web page. You'll see mm -hmm. that sometimes. I strongly advise against that. So a lot of the web pages, you want to make them look like they're from 1992. I've seen Microsoft <laughs> Word save a web page and it doesn't even look good on Internet Explorer, Microsoft's own web browser. Right. So it's not a good way to go. Stick with something that's more of a, a real web page editor would be the better way to go. Okay, and that's all I have for the exporting and saving. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, stay t uh, tuned. We're going to have another episode tomorrow. Uh, this is, again, part of our trial format. Let us know if you like these short bits or whether you like them in uh, one big one. All right? For Ask the Techies, I'm Dealey Beard. And I'm Tim Walsh.